So now in this video, we have a trim pot. Parallel to the trim pot is a Zener diode. Ultimately, what that does is no matter what the supply voltage is, for the most part, you have a fixed voltage across the trim pot, which will be the Zener voltage of the Zener diode right there. I have a 3.6 volt Zener diode right here. I know because I grabbed it out of this package. And um, actually, sometimes the package could be wrong. So I uh, either I put it in the wrong one, and I actually have one where uh, it was the uh, wrong value. Also, I put it up to uh, my eye, and I read it with the loop right there. And um, so, again, unless it was mismarked, that should give you the exact value. It said uh, C3V6 uh, on it, by the way, just like you see uh, 3V6 here. Uh, that's 3.6 volt Zener diode. They take the V for voltage and put it where the decimal point is because you probably won't see a little dot there, especially when they handwrite it in pink. I recommend getting a semiconductor kit that uh, includes Zener diodes, but I bought these uh, you know, pretty cheap a long time ago through eBay most likely. So, in any case, we have that 3.6 volts across the, Zener, uh, across the uh, trim pot because it's the Zener uh, diode. Some current does have to flow through in this case the 1k resistor uh, but it will build up that voltage across here if uh, the resistor the current getting through the resistor tries to raise the voltage any higher this is like a release valve it passes current as needed to maintain that voltage and again you don't use this voltage out here that's a trim pot uh, or potentiometer symbol you can slide the resistance that's what that indicates and it would move on to other circuitry if you had it um, but uh, any case this is part of the symbol for the trim pot that arrow and uh, so we could go all the way up to 3.6 volts by uh, going up here or we could go down to uh, zero volts by going down here we need more voltage at the supply than what the range is right here so up to 3.6 volts um, usually you want you know like a couple volts higher or something I must have been okay uh, using 4 volts in this circuit because I wrote 4 volts there and going up to 12 volts um, 1 kilo ohm resistor uh, does pretty well at 10 volts especially if something else is dropping you know some more of the voltage so actually we're only gonna have like 8.4 uh, volts across that 1k resistor which it can handle uh, really well if it is a uh, 1k resistor um, that's a quarter watt quarter watt size right there so um, in any case I rambled on long enough I have an oscilloscope that is uh, uh, ready to go thanks to uh, three previous videos so we will look at that I have not tested this out yet I am really confident that it will work just fine so now I got the uh, pocket oscilloscope on here actually handheld oscilloscope won't fit in your pocket so turned it on there and uh, the display is up there I can press channel uh, the battery is uh, fully charged, so my power bank um, was turned off. I turned it on, and now the power bank is uh, making sure to add uh, charge. Although, since it's fully charged, it'll probably turn off. Um, we have uh, two channels right there. So, the probe has the alligator clips on one side, and I just clipped them to jumpers that go to our negative rail, ground, right there. That'll be our zero volt reference point right there. You can actually get negative voltages, but you'd have to move up the uh, zero point up higher. And we have these floating, which actually could uh, pick up uh, stray signals. So, um, yeah, power supply is on. It is four volts, and uh, so we should see, uh, in this case, it's yellow. I didn't know which one uh, it would be is going up to four volts. And the trim pot is all the way down. I'm gonna to go to the middle pin of the trim pot. The resistive element is the uh, top to the bottom uh, pin. It goes around that middle pin. The middle pin is the wiper, which as I already said, was a uh, zero uh, volt. If I turn this down, uh, we should see that a little better. So yeah, we have a uh, one volt per division. Um, power supply is four volts. Uh, trim pot is down to a uh, zero. And uh, so you can see uh, four volts right there. And it's just scrolling because it's in roll mode. So that uh, you see just like a, a move in line, you'll see uh, the changing voltage. There we go, moving along uh, right there. And uh, so can't get four volts because I got a 3.6 volt Zener diode. And we have um, three volts right there. So maybe four volts is actually a little too low. We will uh, come over here 
and uh, it's 4.10 just because we lose like a little bit of voltage along the way uh, but I'm gonna go up to 5 volts so there you can see we got a big bump there and we got a bump there um, but uh, when I go to uh, 6 volts and I'm hitting the power supply it's like cutting power and uh, stuff and actually maybe that yeah moving this doesn't look like a good idea either um, okay so yeah we got uh, 6 volts at the supply again I bumped uh, the cable so it it moved um, that's a really bad right there uh, but yeah we got six seven eight and this will move slightly because the Zener diode does build up a slight extra voltage um, as more current passes through it remember it's got to pass current in order to uh, get you your Zener uh, voltage but it does drift up slightly as more current goes through but uh, you can see here we got uh, 11 12 and um, we're still shy of the 4 volts right there. I will lower this. The trim pot is all the way up right there. I will uh, lower this. And you can see it going down slightly, but uh, not much compared uh, to that. So if you just have like a few volts, well, 4 volts was, uh, as we saw before, probably too low. I should have wrote like 5 on the sheet. Let's take a look at what 5 does. Um, there we go. So it does go down a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's well we are at our maximum voltage setting be aware that the the difference will be half of that when we go halfway so let's uh shoot for two volts um that was at seven let's uh let's put this at down at two volts now it should pretty uh nicely hold to two volts but we saw four volts um threw things off uh, quite a bit so i'm going to go down to five uh, volts at the power supply and there you can see it went down a little bit, but it is still, uh, you know, basically two volts. It's holding, it's holding decently. You got to take that into account, though. This can drift a little bit. We'd have to uh, find a more solid way to do this. We could like double up a couple of Zener things, and um, you know, the we could make that like a Zener uh, voltage as well. There'd be like a power supply voltage like higher than that, and then that could. Uh, be used to further divide down to another uh, Zener, but uh, in any case, forgot what we're doing. Work our way up to uh, 12 volts, that's right. We went down to five, I believe, and it was basically two volts, and there you can see, it's still basically uh, two volts. Did drift a bit, though, so, you know, again, not perfect, but very simple. We can just take a trim pot, and um, you know, if the supply voltage will change like a couple volts or uh, whatever, you could uh, parallel the uh, you know have some extra resistance up there but then parallel a Zener uh, diode and um, you'll get a fraction of that Zener voltage more or less so if you always want close to one volt there we go we got that even if we went uh, from 5 to 12 so again let's look at how bad um, that will uh, drift so if we set it to be like that at 5 um, you know you might have like a 12 volt uh, battery or something and uh, you go down to like 10 usually it's actually higher than 12 you know but there you can see our signal is like the same even though we changed a couple volts it's uh pretty close to the same and uh yeah now we'll go to a uh, five and we set it at uh, one volt oops um that didn't change anything or changed what i was gonna set up there you go so yeah we are at uh five volts right now and still holding one volt uh pretty well so the uh further you get away from that maximum the uh, more closely it's gonna uh, be to the the voltage that you set so now I couldn't think of a good ending while I still had the oscilloscope there so we'll just come back to the diagram to end it again um, you know the more current you go get through the Zener diode um, the more it's gonna drift also uh, like 5.1 volt 5.6 volts are usually pretty solid even as uh, current changes um, as you get farther away from that voltage, especially going down, um, they drift a little bit worse. So it would be better to, uh, you know, have, you know, like seven volts or above and a five volt Zener diode that would not drift as much. Um, but, uh, for whatever reason I did 3.6 when I made this diagram here. And, uh, so just thought I would mention that. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think I, I mentioned everything that needs to be mentioned. So thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.